A royal family member provides surprise of Queen Elizabeth admission ahead of the Harry and Meghan Sandringham showdown, which is supposed to be taking place tomorrow. Prince Charles is returning from his trip to the Middle East. He went to uh, give his condolences for the death of Sultan Qaboos bin Said al Said, and uh, he'll be back tomorrow. Sandringham meeting having to do with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle standing down from their uh, senior royals roles in the British monarchy. Bill McCollin of Express UK reports this. Reports that Queen Elizabeth II is doing all right, quote-unquote, before tomorrow Sandringham crisis meeting. There's supposed to be a family gathering and the meeting is a summit having to do with what is to be done with not only Prince Harry and Meghan Markle leaving, um, I would say uh, it's not abdicating because it's not part of the uh, the uh, level of going towards uh, kingdom, the kingship, but uh, what is it called? Anyway, he, they want to leave the royalty, the royal family. And I suppose that new rules and codes will be put in place for those who in the future would want to do the same thing. So Queen Elizabeth attended the church service today at St. Mary Magdalene Church before the family crisis talks which will be taking place tomorrow. And Peter Phillips, the Queen's eldest grandson, claimed that the Queen is doing all right. Uh, according to the Daily Telegraph, he's Princess Anne's son. And uh, Prince Charles, we said, will be coming back today to uh, attend the meeting tomorrow. The Monday meeting will be the first time the royals meet together since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made their announcement that they intend to step down as senior royals. And after the decision from this couple, it was reported that Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth had not been informed of their decision. Now, it was also reported that the Queen was very hurt by the announcement, according to the BBC royal correspondent Johnny Diamond. Since that announcement, Harry remained in the UK, but Meghan Markle is in Canada uh, and will reportedly join the discussions remotely. I, I believe that they're going to be talking to her through Skype or telephone or something. A royal source says that the Daily Telegraph claims that the family will gather tomorrow at Sandringham to talk things over, attended by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Prince of Wales, the Duke of Cambridge, and the Duke of Sussex. Okay, Cambridge, of course, is William, and Sussex is Prince Henry. So, uh, the Prince of Wales is uh, Prince Charles, Queen Elizabeth's son. Now, after the series of meetings and consultations across the last few days, there are a range of possibilities for the family to review, which take into account the thinking the Sussexes outlined earlier in the week. They said, as we have said previously, making a change to the working life and role in the monarchy for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex requires complex and thoughtful discussions. Next steps will be agreed at the meeting. The request for this to be resolved at pace is still Her Majesty's wish. The aim remains in days, not weeks. In other words, the decisions will be made uh, imminently as what to do with them, about them. According to the paper, Prince William said, I've put my arm around my brother all our lives and I can't do that anymore. We're separate entities. I'm sad about that. All I can do, all we can do, and all I can do is try to support them and hope that the time comes when they're, we are all singing uh, from the same page. I want everyone to play on the team, he said. Now, during the meeting, Megan and Harry will be presented with a raft of options as to where they can or should establish their second home. In their initial statement released on their Sussex Royal Instagram page, uh, Prince, Ch uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle revealed they will spend their time between UK and Canada. I thought it was also the US, but I guess they won't be, I think they're uh, ultimately going to be staying in Canada around Vancouver Island. So with that in mind, it's not known how the couple's security will be run while they're revealing their intentions to abandon the royal family of Britain. 
which gives the media special access to royal family members. And uh, from what I briefly read from other columns, other articles, um, the Canadians are not very enthusiastic about picking up the bill of uh, somehow um, paying for their security, for their uh, bodyguards, etc. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll keep an eye out on this. I'm very shocked. I still don't understand what's going on. I thought that Megan understood her role as uh, a new member of the royal family, uh, what was expected of her, and uh, this is giving also her sister a, a very great chance of uh, talking against her again. Um, I can imagine Queen Elizabeth being very distraught over this because, you know, as careful as she wants to be concerning the royal family, there's always events like this taking place. Uh, she must be shocked and really hurt over this. We can imagine. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.